Today you'll see why you need a heated bidet toilet seat and how to avoid common installation mistakes. Heated bidet toilet seats are a terrific way to stay clean and also save money. The warm water bidet is a gentler way to freshen up and relax muscles which makes bowel movements a lot easier. Plus, you'll spend less money on toilet paper or septic system services. Heated bidet installation is easy, but it's important to avoid critical mistakes. In this video, I'm installing the Fluid Master Soft spa bidet for my client. I like this heated bidet toilet seat because it's affordable, has a heated seat, warm water, dryer, and adjustable wand for women and men. So yeah, there are a lot of bells and whistles for the price. The first mistake folks make is with the electrical outlet. An outlet is needed to power the seat and warm the water. You should install a GFCI, a ground fault circuit interrupter, next to the toilet. And GFCIs are typically installed 14 to 16 inches from the floor to the top of the box. In addition, the outlet should be on a 20 amp circuit. As such, the outlet should also be rated for 20 amps. This outlet also has to be grounded properly. For example, you should see a bare copper wire under the green ground screw. Here's the second mistake you should avoid, not turning the water off at the toilet shutoff valve. I always check the toilet shutoff valve to see if it works. I do this by turning the valve handle clockwise until it stops. If you can't move the shutoff valve handle, there's another solution. I turn the water off to the home. Normally, your home shutoff is in the garage or the basement. Once the water's off, I flush the toilet and hold the handle until most of the water exits the tank. Then I remove the water supply line from the fill valve. Typically, these are only hand tightened. However, you can use a wrench if the supply line won't budge. Then I place a microfiber cloth or sponge on the floor. This absorbs the water that comes from the supply line when I remove it from the shutoff valve. Then I use a wrench to turn the supply line that counterclockwise. This removes it from the toilet shutoff valve. But here's a big tip. Keep this water supply line. I'll explain why a little bit later on. Here's the third big mistake you should avoid. Haphazardly installing the bidet toilet seat. Take your time. For example, some folks don't clean the top of the toilet bowl. Any urine or dirt on the top of the bowl prevents the soft spa from mounting properly. Plus, come on, it's gross not to clean this. Another mistake people make is with the rubber grommets. I need these to mount the bidet seat to the toilet. Sometimes folks forget to dip these in water and this is needed to lubricate the grommets so they'll slide through the holes in the toilet bowl. The big mistake people make is pushing the grommet too much. It should rest on top of the toilet bowl. The next mistake is installing the mounting bracket incorrectly. The foam sides need to face the toilet bowl. In addition, the sliding rails have to face up and into the slots of the bracket. This is what allows me to adjust the bidet position on the bowl. Another big mistake has to do with the screws. I get these started by hand. They go down through the sliding rails and I only use a screwdriver to tighten them. I never use an impact driver or a drill because that much force could crack the bolt and then you'd be replacing the entire toilet. The mounting bracket is slightly movable at this point because I'm going to use a template. The template helps me position the soft spa seat. Once I'm certain the template is where I want it, I tighten the screws that hold the bracket in place. The mounting bracket shouldn't move at this point. Then I dry fit the soft spa by sliding it onto the mounting bracket. You should hear a click when it's installed properly. Here's the fourth heated bidet seat mistake and arguably the biggest one, and that's installing the water supply lines incorrectly. The soft spot has a valve on the left side. I always inspect the valve for debris on the screen. Any debris will slow the water flow, just like with a shower head or a sink faucet. In addition, I inspect the 16 inch water supply line, specifically the rubber gasket inside the nut. I look at that and ensure it's clean. I then hand tighten this supply line on the valve, and then I turn it another half turn with my pliers wrench. Once this supply line is installed, I remount the soft spa onto the bracket. I install the other end of the 16 inch water supply line to the T-valve. It's equally important that the adjustable nut on the T-valve have the rubber gasket. That makes the connection at the toilet fill valve leak free. This connection has to be hand tightened. There's no wrench that's needed. Now here's where it gets tricky. The soft spa comes with a 20 inch water supply line and that can connect to the toilet shutoff valve. 
itself. But often, this 20 inch line is way too long. So I always have an extra toilet water supply line with me, or in this case, I'm reusing the 12 inch line that was already in place. It's pretty much brand new. This water supply line gets hand tightened to the bottom of the T valve and then I tighten the 3 8 inch fitting to the toilet shutoff valve. Again I use my pliers wrench to tighten that in another quarter to half turn. Now here's the deal. Don't make the common mistake of turning the shutoff valve completely on. Instead slowly turn it on and check for any water leaks. At this point I pull the blue tape off the wand cover. Don't forget to do this. And I plug the bidet into the GFC I then place my hand over the sensor and use the remote to test the wand water pressure. You can use the remote to adjust all the settings on the heated bidet seat. I think you'll love the soft spa heated bidet toilet seat. The warm water is terrific for getting clean and you'll save money by using less toilet paper. Remember, if you're doing a bathroom remodel and need help, join our video library at homerepairtutor.com today. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.